Okay, so I am testing level four here of the Athena in the back. The back hose, the middle hose is the giant turbo. That's the one that's making all that noise. And then the front one is the uh, Ion Quench. And this is all coming out at level four. And um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go, go ahead and fill these cups up. This is the pink cup is uh, from the Athena. And then uh, the purple cup is the tie And this is all the alkaline water coming out the top spout here. And then uh, the, uh, the front cup is the new, brand new Ion Quench. And I'm also going to fill up these acid water, uh, these cups with acid water as well. This first one is the Ion Quench. And then the middle one is the Turbo. Alrighty, and now I can turn this off and have it be a little quieter. Okay, the feet is off, turbo's off, and ion clench is off. Alright, so now we're going to test these and um, I, I have really done my best to clean these um, uh, meters, uh, the testing meters today, but they have been trouble for me. So um, they might not be as accurate, but at least we're using the same meters on all three ionizers and so they we should be accurate enough, I suppose. All right, so all right, we'll put both probes in the first. Oops, wait a minute. I don't want to start with acid water, do I? All right, well, I suppose I could. All right, I'll start with the acid water. This is the Ion Quench. This first one is the Ion Quench acid water, and. You know, I don't put ORP probes in acid water. Let me take that out. Mm. Although I suppose if I don't turn it on, it will be all right. I'm just really wanting to look at the pH here. And if I turn my ORP meter on, it's going to break it. So uh, now that's pretty good. That's the ion quench pH for the acid water is like a 3.5. That's more like it. And then the let's take a look at the uh, tie turbo. And this at the turbo setting 2.5. That's very good. And then the Athena, and that is about a 3.0 pH. All right, and now put it in the alkaline water. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also turn on the ORP meter as well at this point. Okay, so for the Athena, we have got a uh, about a 10.5-ish or 10.6 pH, and then the um, ORP is still in that climbing mode. All right, so about a about a negative six hundred ninety ish, or possibly a negative seven hundred on the ORP. Now, let's try the tie here. It looks like a 
10.9 pH and very similar to the Athena. Looks like about a negative Uh, about it maybe a negative 720s, 730-ish. All right, so I'm just going to move along here. The next uh, cup that we're testing here is the Ion Quench, and this is all at level 4. And really at level 4, just, just keep in mind, you're probably not going to be drinking at level 4. So this ORP is just kind of a tidbit of information but not not that useful. The the ORP at level 3 is important and also at level 2 because you you would probably be drinking at one of those two levels. So but this is very good for the ion quench, a 10.9 with a negative uh, 620-ish ORP. And I'm just going to kind of flip these back into the cups again, see if we're still getting the same readings. The Athena looks like it's up to like 11.1 .1 or 11 point, between 11.1 .1 and 11.2 so that's pretty high alkaline that's the in the pink cup back there, the Athena. Okay, and I'm going to move this up then. And the tie-in is at about 11.0 pH. And, um, and let's move it one more time to the Ion Quench. Which looks, you know, really they're all right up there at 11.0, and really at a at a pH of 11. Th this is all with their the high. This is the high alkaline mode, and what you're looking for with that high alkaline is not so much the ORP. So I'm going to just set, set that aside. Really, what you're looking for is that that alkaline is up around 11, and 11 is really kind of like a ma a magic number, and they all really got up to 11. So that's that's actually very good for the uh, for all three ionizers